Hey, what's up, man? And today we're gonna smoke some weed. Let's see, controls, Creeping Charlie, Wild Violet, and Clover. This stuff sounds like it should work pretty good, right? Have you struggled with Clover or Creeping Charlie, then you probably tried several herbicides from your local big box store and probably haven't had the best success with them. And the reason why these herbicides don't work that well is because Clover and Creeping Charlie require a very specific herbicide that most of these ones at the big box store just don't contain. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a brand new commercial grade herbicide that just got released that's guaranteed to smoke all your Clover. And if you guys are struggling with Clover and Creeping Charlie, I just want you guys to know you're not alone. We're also struggling with some Clover right now, but the good thing is, me and you, we're gonna take care of them today and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So we're over here in my backyard right now and we're starting to have a patch of Clover pop up. Now the issue with Clover and all these other creeping type weeds like Creeping Charlie and Wild Violet is that they spread through underground rhizomes, which are stems that spread horizontally and they send up multiple shoots. Now the issue with that is if we don't take control of this, it could potentially spread all across our lawn and before we know it we could have a full-blown clover lawn and there wouldn't even have any grass left but the most important thing is that we act fast and we don't wait any longer because if we don't it's going to start spreading and we're going to have a lot more issues but the good news is i have something that we can use that's going to smoke all this clover so in order to treat these weeds that we got going on, we're gonna go ahead and use this herbicide called Sublime. This stuff is brand new, just came out. And before I start telling you guys about it, I want you to know this is not a sponsored video. These guys are not paying me at all. They probably don't even know who I am. But there is something very interesting about this herbicide that I've never seen in another herbicide on the market before. The first reason we're gonna use it is because it contains triclopyr, which is the active ingredient in this herbicide that controls creeping type weeds like the ones we're dealing with. But it also contains mesotrione, AKA tenacity, and this is the first herbicide that I've ever seen that has regular broadleaf control plus that tenacity mixed in which will give us a one-two punch to kill grassy weeds as well. But I noticed that when you mix in tenacity with like a group four herbicide like triclopyr and dicamba, you get better broadleaf control as well. It's just that extra kicker that gives it that extra snap. So this stuff is definitely kind of pricey. It's about $60, $70. If you guys are on a budget and don't want to spend that much, I'm going to link down below an ortho weed be gone product that specifically targets creeping type weeds like the ones we're dealing with today and it's much cheaper just keep in mind that it does have a lower concentration of some of the herbicides we're using today but it should do a good job for you as well so in order to make our herbicide application today we're going to need a sprayer now you basically got two choices that you can choose from either a pump type sprayer like this or a battery powered sprayer like this now what's good about these pump type sprayers is this one is pretty cheap it's only 12 bucks from home depot so if you're on a budget, this will definitely get the job done. Honestly, I'm not really a big fan of this wand or the tip on it, but at the end of the day, if you're just trying to knock out a few weeds, no need to go spend extra money if you don't really want to invest in that type of equipment. And when we get into these more expensive type battery sprayers right here, then you're gonna get a lot more creature comforts with it. For example, it has a battery, so you're gonna get a consistent application. Not to mention it has this stainless steel wand right here, and it has a fan tip nozzle at the end, so you're gonna get a really consistent application. Now this is definitely not needed, but if you are trying to get more advanced in your lawn care hobby, I would say just completely ditch the pump sprayers and get some type of battery sprayer. Aside from the clover in the backyard, we also have some wild carrot popping up here in the front yard, along with some dandelions and some poa annua, which is a grassy type weed that's very hard to control. Now there's a rumor going around the community that this sublime herbicide can help control poa as well. Those are some bold claims and frankly, I don't believe it, but we're gonna put that to the test today as well. Before we make this application, it's important that we wear proper PPE according to the label. Now the cool thing about this bottle of sublime is that it has a measuring cup built into it, so we don't have to worry about contaminating any other cups, we can do all our measuring right here inside the bottle. And the application rate is 0.75 ounces per thousand square feet per gallon of water. Also, the label calls for three teaspoons of a non-ionic surfactant to add to the tank as well. A lot of people ask me what this mixer is that I'm using to agitate my solution. All it is is a paint mixer that I attach to my drill and it agitates our solution very well to make sure everything is fully mixed before we apply. Now the key thing to remember here is when making your application, the weeds only need one swift spray of the herbicide. One mistake that I made when I first got into lawn care was over spraying the weeds multiple times and I kept wondering why my grass kept always dying. So a common question we get is, is this stuff harmful to our pets and our kids? Could we let them go in the yard afterwards? And the answer is yes, you just want to make sure that it's 100% fully dry and then you could allow them in the yard no problem. 
So it's been a week we're over here in my backyard and this clover is showing some serious signs of injury already. You know what I really like about this sublime herbicide is that it works really fast. I've tried some other herbicides in the past that claim to kill Creeping Charlie and clover like Speed Zone. And if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know we really like the Speed Zone herbicide. But in my opinion, it's not the best weed control for clover and Creeping Charlie. But this sublime herbicide did a really good job. I don't think you're gonna get much better than this. So we're over here in the front yard. We just got done with the mow. And I gotta say, it's looking pretty darn good for us being in a drought right now here in Chicago. So you guys know we're all about showing you guys results here on the channel. I'm trying to find where those dandelions and that wild carrot were, but I literally can find zero evidence that those weeds even existed. That's how good this sublime herbicide actually works. Usually with some other weed killers, I would see like a skeleton remaining. So at least I could show you guys on camera, but there's literally nothing left of those weeds. Now, when it comes to Apoa annual, we're definitely starting to see some bleaching happen to it. You know, does that mean it's dead? Probably not. But at the end of the day, I'd much rather have some injured poa than not do anything at all. Now, my expectation when applying this herbicide was that it wasn't going to kill the poa. So the fact that the poa doesn't look like it's completely dead is not that big of a deal. But I am glad that it's doing something to it at least. One thing I do find interesting is that on the sublime label, it says that it doesn't bleach any grasses, but I'm seeing bleaching here. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm used to it with using tenacity, but I just thought that might be worth mentioning that if you do a apply sublime then you could definitely get some bleaching in your lung. Now the one downside to the sublime herbicide is that it can't be used on warm season grasses. So any of you guys that do have warm season grass, I invited my friend BYD from Bermuda Grass Central to come and let you guys know what you could apply to your lawn without injuring it, specifically Bermuda grass. Hey George, BYD here. Guys, as you can see, I'm in one of these big box stores, all right? Let me show you some of these homeowner store-bought chemicals that you can put on your yard on your warm season grass. And remember guys, you have to always read the label. All products are not made for all warm season grasses. There's a difference. So if you're looking for one that kills clover, creeping charlie, wild violet, this is your one right here, guys. But look, it's not going to tell you what grass it works on. It's going to tell you what you should not put it on right here. One of my favorites right here, guys. Works pretty much on everything. If you read the label, it does not say it works on creeping charlie, but works on clover and wild violet. But saying that, you got to flip this over. It's gonna tell you what grasses it works on. Make sure you read the labels, guys. That's how you know if this stuff is gonna work on your warm season grasses. Hey, BYD, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for chiming in. Now, keep in mind, guys, that his recommendations were only for Bermuda grass. If you guys do have St. Augustine or Bahia or centipede grass, then you're gonna have to get more specialty type herbicides that cost a little bit more. And if you're a beginner to lawn care and you're thinking about using weed and feed, then watch this video right here. In this video, I show you all the reasons why you shouldn't use weed and feed, and then I give you a much better alternative. And with that, this is George from Princess Cut. Peace.